Cajun. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. And we are here at the closing moment moments of the prelims. They capping it off with Jim Miller, Jim A10 Miller versus my guy Vince from Hell Pichel. That's the name right there, man. I mean, he bringing the heat. And his KO, his KO record seems to show that he bringing it from hell too. Eight KOs on twelve wins. That means he's looking to put your lights out. Sixty six percent. Yeah. Unfortunately, 0.6 if you really from hell, you know. <laughs> he out there with the sixty six point six knockout rate. Oh my god! Can somebody get him out of here? Get him out of here! That boy needs you. <laughs> oh man! But yeah interesting fight you get a guy who uh seldomly fights every year to a guy who stay busy in my guy jim miller jim miller st- seemed like you hear his name a couple couple times every year too many times <laughs> too many times too many times <laughs> right like oh, this man. is a this is the extreme battle of what were you doing with your life like these are two uh no country for old men uh Ooh, contestants little- I mean, they both no country, you know. Mm-hmm. But when you look at it, it's like uh, Jim Miller, 36. Pichelle's 37. Uh, Jim Miller is 32 and 14 uh, as far as his record. And Pichelle right, right. only has 14, only has 14 fights total. So it's like, bruh, that's clearly y'all are, y'all are on the same path, but two different, uh, two different walkways, just, so, so to speak. Because he can do it. One guy's a fighter and the other guy, I can fight. So I'm a fight, almost right. on the Frankie uh, Frankie Sands thing. Like they probably got other things that they're uh, into, and fighting right. happens to be one of them. One one guy is a clear cut fighter. The other one, right because I can't. In a right. sense, that's what it looks. That's what it's, it's, uh, really it's tough, man. Uh, Pichel, he did have a, a couple of couple of little issues within his career. I know he had an orbital injury in one of his fights. I want right. to say it was uh, in Jukawani. Uh, and then I mean, like, uh, hey, at the end of the day, seven fights in seven years is really all you need to know. Like, uh, Jim Miller is probably, I, I, don't know, I don't know, I can't even count how many times he's fought in the last seven years, but I know he's been out here, like, out here, kind of like consistently. Uh, he's a guy who, I mean, when you look at it, he's been in the UFC for so long, and with a record like 32 and 14. It's harder for me to uh, to find a name in the lightweight division that he hasn't fought than it is for me to right. find a name that he's right. fought. Like outside of these new uh, up and coming young bucks or whatever, like he didn't already fought everybody else. So uh, surprisingly enough, he hasn't fought this guy, but this guy's only got seven fights. So, you know. They they have a common opponent in Roosevelt mm. Roberts. Do you think oh, Roosevelt is going to be watching this oh, fight? Why you got to do Rosie, my guy like that? Is Rosie going to tune in and watch guy. this one? Both of uh, these guys are coming off of Roosevelt Robert wins. Pichelle and one of them a, was just a couple decision. of weeks ago. So. Yeah, and my guy Jim Miller got the submission off. Roosevelt probably going to be watching this fight pretty salty looking at both of these guys. I don't think he tunes in. I think he steps away from the screen, goes gets goes and gets a beer and be like, you know what? I bet I bet on this fight. It could be me. In the draw. <laughs> this fight is going to end in the draw. I don't like these guys. I could be but fighting on pay per view. Yeah, man, it's tough. Fight older guys out outside of their prime. Like we all know, Jim Miller. That guy is almost on uh, Matt. He's almost Matt Brownish in his uh, facts in his way that he's been in the UFC and how often you see him in the the, the high fight epic fights he's in. Um, and I think his constant, uh, his, 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 what is I'm looking for? His consistency in the, in the cage is also going to help him get this done. He's always in good shape. Good cardio. Jim Miller does not get tired. Uh, good wrestler. He's going to be the better wrestler in this, in this fight, of course. And he's clearly a, a better submission guy. Clearly striker. He's a, he's a good right. enough striker to uh, hold his own standing. So. Um, this is something I know Michelle isn't gonna want, gonna want to take this to the mat. Not gonna be looking to get it there. Gonna be looking for a KO, and I just don't know if he's gonna be able to get the KO done against Jim Miller. 
He has beat some good names, but I don't think he's going to beat Jim Miller this time around. Don't see it happening. Yeah, Jim, I, I got, I got Jim Miller as well. Um, I want to say I think he can get a sub off. Uh, it's tough because Pichel, I mean, he's only been submitted one time, but like I said again, he's only at 14 fights. So how many of those guys out of out of 14 fights have right. 17 subs on their record? Like it's. Yeah, bro. It's, it's one of those things where, like I said, they're close in age, but very different in experience level. So I just feel like all of the things that Jim Miller has seen and all of the things that Vince Pichel has not seen is going to come into effect right. uh, in this matchup. And yeah, uh, Miller Miller gets it done. Got his own gym too. Miller, Miller brother uh, MMA. Yeah, man. Good way to close out the uh, prelims. Good, exciting fight. With the old school guys, keeping it old school, kicking it old school. Uh, and like Jim Miller has those losses, but he's fought some of the top guys at lightweight. So, facts. Uh, he, it's not like he, so he has the experience and he's getting that good experience. I don't think he, uh, he loses this one to Pichel. Pichel, unfortunately, the odds are not out on that one yet, man. They, they ain't even dropped the oh. odds for that one. I'm over here looking for the odds. Odds not out. They don't want to give us the odds. I think this one Maybe will be they, even money yeah. fight, bro. Maybe that's because I'm on Bovada. Maybe if I went to another betting site, I just use with rock with Bovada, rock with Bovada. Um, hey, and, and y'all can use Bovada too. Go to CajunStyle.com. Oh, click the link. Oh, I'm I'm just saying. Saying. you got to plug it. I like it. Got to, got got to plug it. You know, I like it. Easy. And I won money last week. Hey. Ooh. Oh, he meant. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> easy now. Easy. <laughs> Out there hurting ladies, oh, man. man. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, that's how we closing it off. You going with Miller? I'm going with Miller. It's Miller time. <laughs> hey, hopefully, hopefully, Miller and Genuine Draft try to sign us now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's Cajun style. <laughs> Keep rocking with us. Got like, the main card on the way. Do it, my like, comment, guys. subscribe. Oh, comment oh. down there. Let us know who you think I'll win. Y'all, we already told you who's going win, but let us know what you think. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, they, they don't, they don't even, they don't even need to know about my original YouTube days. Hey, they, they don't even oh, know. Man. It's, it's out there. It's out there. Oh, it's man. out there. Oh man. <laughs> Cajun style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Cajun. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. <laughs>